Hello, good day. I'm Professor Epigenio Mendoza. Uh, first of all, if you like this video presentation, may I request to please share it to your classmates, to your colleagues, to your friends and relatives. Because I believe that knowledge not shared is knowledge wasted. So now let me introduce and let's go ahead and get started. So this video is the second to my first series on analysis of covariance or what we call ANCOBA as you can see here. And it's a very simple regression. Okay. And the question is what is going on in ANCOBA? Okay, so what is actually going on when we conduct on COBA? This video will take place entirely within Excel. So as you can see here, we will be using uh, for the entire discussion uh, Excel. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into Excel and learn more about what's going on in ANCOBA. All right. <clears throat> so here we are in Excel, okay? So let's go ahead and figure out exactly how ANCOBA works. So here is our data, okay? So we have scores, year, and GPA. In column A, we have our defendant variable. So this one. So this one is your column A, and this is our dependent variable, okay? Now, we have our single factor. So in this case, we have the year, which is in column B. So this is the single factor, okay? The year in school. We have the GPA in our column C, okay? So these are the GPA made by our students. And we have eight students. Let me count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The same with this. So we have in year two, we have eight students. In year three, we have also eight students. Okay, so down here, also, it is also eight students. Now, in column C, we have a quantitative covariate. Okay, and that is our GPA. So I'm going to repeat. We have the scores as our defendant variable, and we have the year in school, and we have the quantitative covariate, as I said, which is our GPA. So dependent variable, single factor in covariate were our data. The dependent variable scores, the single factor, the year, and our covariate, the GPA. Now the fundamental question we are asking ourselves here is this. In our dependent variable we obviously variations so meaning there are variations happening here happening here and there are variations happening here or within this course within this dependent variable variations for okay so what we want to know now is first when we account for the variations in those scores based on the GPA, what is left? Okay? What is uh, left when we account these variations in our dependent variable? Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, find out what proportion or what amount of the variations in the dependent variable of 